How's it going you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off you guys, I'm going to be giving you a major update when it comes to Ariana Grande and her soon to be ex-husband Dalton Gomez because remember when I said I thought this split would be amicable and easy and drama free? Well, I was completely 1000% wrong. So y'all know we were initially hearing after the first reports came out about Ariana and Dalton's separation, we were hearing that these two were friends they were amicable, they were on good terms. However, it kind of sounds like that is no longer the case. So we have this new report from Entertainment Tonight that's talking about how Dalton is struggling with the separation. He's apparently having a hard time moving on. In addition to that, you guys, since the news of Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez's separation broke, we've obviously found out that Ariana Grande is already dating somebody new and that somebody new is her Wicked co-star, Ethan Slater. And Ethan's situation is also incredibly incredible incredibly messy you guys. So Ethan Slater was also married. He was married for five years. He had been with his wife since they were in high school and almost immediately after news broke about Ethan and Ariana dating, we got reports about Ethan's wife being devastated and blindsided by the news that he was dating Ariana Grande. However, Ethan's team is now seemingly hitting back at this narrative and we know this thanks to this new report from Us Magazine where a source is saying that Ethan did give his wife a heads up. He did tell her about his relationship with Ariana Grande before the news broke. Basically, you get it. There are just a lot of messy tea filled updates that I need to fill you in on when it comes to Ariana Grande, Don Gomez, and Ethan Slater. But first, because this is the first pop up of the week, you know I have to check in and see how the House of Hill is doing. So let me know how you are, what you've been up to, all of that good stuff down below. Me personally, you guys, I had a pretty relaxing weekend. I celebrated one of my friend's birthdays, hung out with my family. This weekend, I'm leaving to go out of town for next week. Every year, my family and I meet up with our family that we have in Texas and we do some kind of trip. I'm getting excited for that. Obviously still need to pack. Obviously still have a lot of things to do before I leave for vacation, but out of sight, out of mind right now because it is time for a pop-off. It's time for me to chat with the House of Hill. So straight to the tea, people. Now is your time to shine. Go ahead and put this time go down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the tea, people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Dalton Gomez, Ariana Grande, and Ethan Slater facts. All right, so as you all know, news broke last week that Ariana Grande and her husband Dalton Gomez were separate separating after two years of marriage. The big bombshell was that the two had actually been separated since January. Now sources did tell TMZ that these two did try to give their marriage another go back in May. Dalton Gomez flew out to the UK where Ariana Grande has been since she's been filming Wicked. They kind of gave it one last go to reconcile their marriage. They weren't able to. And since then they've been proceeding with the separation. Now as far as why these two decided to separate, we heard a lot about how their relationship changed after COVID. They were struggling having a long distance marriage because like I mentioned Ariana Grande has been filming for Wicked, Don Gomez has been here in LA because of work and it just sounded like they were starting to live two separate lives and then decided that they were better apart than they were together. Also initially you guys we were hearing that Ariana and Dalton were on good terms, they were amicable, they came to this decision together. We heard that Dalton was already out there dating, that Ariana Grande knew that he was already out there dating and then a few days later literally when we did our happy hour hang last week we got a new report report from page six where a source shared that Dalton Gomez was quote devastated by his separation from Ariana Grande because he wanted this fairy tale marriage which you guys know initially when I saw that report I was confused because I was like huh this kind of contradicts what we were initially hearing however I am starting to believe that Dalton might not be feeling as good about this separation as he once was because we have this new report from Entertainment Tonight you guys that like I teased in the beginning of this video is giving us some more insight into how Dalton Gomez is not coping well with the separation. As this Entertainment Tonight source said, quote, Dalton is having a hard time after his breakup with Ariana. It has been difficult for him because he wanted to make things work. This insider then went on to say, quote, he still has a lot of love for her and still considers her his partner, but she has moved on. Dalton's friends are encouraging him to do the same. Now again, like I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video, as far as who Ariana Grande moved on with, we know that it is her Wicked co-star Ethan Slater. He also played SpongeBob in the SpongeBob musical. That has been been a thing that's been going around. The voice actor for Spongebob has been out there being like, I am a happily married man. I am not dating Ariana Grande. It is the Spongebob on Broadway who is dating Ariana Grande. Anyway, you guys, news broke of Ariana and Ethan just literally three days after the separation news of her and Dalton. And we heard the same thing about Ariana and Ethan in every single report. You guys know I'm big on consistency. We heard that they had just started dating, that they had a lot in common, that they had
had fun together. And the big thing that was hammered down in every single report was that Ariana and Ethan did not start dating one another until they were both separated from their previous relationships. Because Ethan Slater, y'all, is also married. They recently celebrated their wedding anniversary. He gave her a shout out on Instagram. Ariana Grande liked the Instagram post. Now, Ethan and his wife, they've been married for five years, but they've been together since high school. Reportedly, they are high school sweethearts. They just had their first child together last year. And pretty soon after news broke that Ariana and Ethan were dating, we were getting reports that Ethan's wife was, quote, blindsided by the news of him and Ariana. This came from a source who spoke to Page Six, where a source said, quote, it's horrible. They were high school sweethearts. They have a baby. She's a wreck. This was in addition to another report from Entertainment Tonight, where a separate source said that Lily is, quote, devastated by her split from Ethan. This is, quote, not the future she had in mind. The source added, quote, she's doing her best to get back on her feet. She's incredibly smart and driven, and she truly is the best mother. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but those two reports kind of gave me a major, major pit in my stomach. They were definitely giving me the ick, which is why I'm assuming Ethan's team decided to put out this brand new report from Us Magazine that's definitely trying to paint Ethan in a much better light than what we were hearing at the end of last week. And the reason I say that is because this Us Magazine report almost directly combats the narrative that his wife was blindsided by the news of him and Ariana Grande. As this Us Magazine source said, quote, Ethan sat Lily down a few days before the news broke about him and Ariana and said that he wanted a divorce. However, this source noted that Lily still, quote, never saw it coming. So to me, if you never saw it coming, that still means you're blindsided. But I understand the source is trying to say she didn't find out with the rest of the world. He did give her the heads up. But to make matters worse, you guys, this source claims that Ethan and Ariana were kind of almost flaunting their relationship. Apparently, they were not hiding it despite both of them going through separations at the time. As the source said, quote, Ariana and Ethan weren't careful. They'd hold hands on set in between take. They were sloppy and not hiding it. Which brings me to one last little piece of added tea, you guys. You know I always love to give you added tea whenever I can. So Dumois posted something last night that was really interesting to me. And they were two anonymous tips that kind of alluded to the fact that Ariana may or may not have a history of going after men in relationships. So the first anonymous tip that Dumois posted was actually directly talking about Ariana and Ethan. This this tip said that Ariana's man was very much married and his wife was very much blindsided, followed by an accusation that Ariana knew exactly what she was doing as she spent plenty of time with Ethan and his wife as a couple. Then the other tip alluded to Ariana doing something similar with Dalton Gomez, aka swooping in when he was already in a relationship. This tipster said that Dalton had been dating a girl for almost five months when he met Ariana. The girlfriend became suspicious about how much time they were spending together. He told her it was for work, but then obviously Obviously, he ended up breaking up with this girl, dating Ariana, proposing to her, and getting married. So I guess my question is, is this an Ariana pattern? Is this just a man problem and she's picking men who do these things? I don't know. It's definitely a little suspicious. I have the TikToks out of my head. Though. That's suspicious. Like, that's what I keep thinking about every time I keep hearing something new about Ariana, Dalton, Ethan. I'm just like, what is going on? Clearly, I have a lot of thoughts about all of this, which is why I want to go ahead and make this pop-up official. And you guys, I literally tried just a few minutes ago opening that bottle of champs that I tried opening for, for last week's pop-off and I still couldn't freaking open it. So I'm gonna have to wait till like my dad comes or I have a man in this apartment to open that bottle because I literally still could not open it. I tried every trick that I know for how to open a champagne bottle and it's literally not working. But have no fear. I do have this house wine that I've been wanting to try. So I feel like it's sparkling as well. So I feel like now's the perfect time to try it. So let's go. Again, not sponsored, just wanna try. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Dalton Gomez and kind of the inconsistencies we're seeing and how he feels about his separation from Ariana Grande. Because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm just a tad confused. However, I will say I'm starting to become a little more convinced that Dalton Gomez is not handling the separation well now that it's been made public. And the reason why I say that is because that's what we're consistently hearing. So because now we had this report in page six about how Dalton was devastated and now Entertainment Tonight about how he's struggling to move on, I am starting to be 
more inclined to believe that Dalton isn't as cool with this separation as he might have been initially. I want to try to explain and understand how Dalton could have had a switch from being amicable and cool with Ariana Grande to now being devastated and not knowing how to move on. And I kind of think that switch could be explained by Dalton kind of living in this like bubble of denial. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's easier to go about your day and do what you're doing knowing that, yeah, in the back of your mind, you and your wife are separated, but the world doesn't know about it yet, right? So you're able to go to work, you're able to go out, you're able to kind of go about your normal day and do what you would normally do knowing that you're separated but I think when other people don't know it's easier in the back of your mind and in your heart to have hope that one day things could work out you know what I mean we're going through a rough patch right now she's in the UK I'm here who knows yes we're separated now but nobody knows so when she comes back maybe we could work things out and we'll be happily ever after once again I think Dalton Gomez was kind of living in that bubble of denial but then when news broke that him and Ariana were separated the rest of us found out it became real. It became the talk of the internet, the public, the world. Dalton's bubble of denial burst and now he's actually having to deal with being separated from Ariana Grande. He's actually having to sit and live in those feelings. He can't put it out of his mind anymore and that's why now I think he might have had this switch of yeah everything's fine. We're cool. We're amicable. We're friendly to oh my god my marriage is over. I'm devastated. She's already dating someone else and she's already publicly dating someone else to add more salt into the freaking wound. Now as far as Ethan Slater and his messiness is concerned, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I didn't know Spongebob had it in him. I mean, I just feel absolutely horrible for this man's wife. Even if he gave her a heads up before this Ariana Grande news broke, can you imagine being in her shoes? Imagine being with this man since high school. You've been married with him for five years. You've been supporting this man's career since you two again were in literal school. You have a baby together. Then this man gets a role on Wicked. He's co-stars with Ariana Grande, gets too big for his britches, thinks the grass is greener on the other side, and decides that he wants to pursue a relationship with Ariana Grande and divorce you. I would be devastated. It's so messed up. And there's a child involved. Like, I am just, I feel for this woman on so many levels. And don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that if Ethan Slater was unhappy in his marriage that he should have stayed. I'm not saying that at all. If you are not happy, you obviously have to fight for your own happiness and do whatever you need to do to fight for your own happiness. But I do think the woman who you've been with since high school and the mother of your child deserves just a smidge of freaking respect. And I think she deserved a little more respect than you telling her that you're stripping Ariana Grande four days before the news breaks. That's just me. And if I can be completely honest with you guys, I actually have a theory that Ariana and Ethan probably didn't even plan on going public with their relationship. I think that if this source is correct and these two were being sloppy on set and holding hands between takes and kind of just being out there in the open, I think it's possible that someone could have snapped a photo that put Ariana and Ethan in a pretty compromising position and this person was saying, I'm gonna sell these photographs unless you two come clean or if you guys wanna get ahead of this, now is your time. That's why on a Monday we got the news that Ariana and Dalton were separated after two years of marriage and then literally three days later we got the news that Ariana and Ethan Slater were dating and every freaking report made it clear that they didn't start dating until they were both separated from their significant others. That is screaming damage freaking control. So I don't know. I believe these reports about Ethan's wife. I believe that she's devastated. I believe that she's blindsided. I believe that right now she feels like the rug has been pulled from under her and she is trying to figure out how the heck she's going to put her life back together because I cannot imagine being in her position. I really, really can. And also, you guys, as far as what Dumois posted and kind of this little slight narrative that's being put out there that Ariana Grande may tend to go for men who are already in relationships. I mean, she did write a song called Break Up With Your Boyfriend. I'm bored. That doesn't look good. It just, it doesn't. That song mixed with a potential pattern of behavior, like Ari's gonna do what Ari's gonna do, but that doesn't mean we have to sit here and be like, yeah, girl, that's totally fine. Like, it just, it isn't looking great. And actually, this kind of makes me want to go back and look at Ariana Grande.
Monday's past relationships and kind of do a deep dive. Do you guys remember I used to have a series called Memory Lane with Madison where we would look into like a celebrity couple or a celebrity feud and deep dive and kind of flush it out. And now I'm kind of wanting to do that with Ariana Grande because I'm just curious if she really does have a pattern of behavior of going after people who are in relationships or if it's just a coincidence that it happened to be with Dalton and then Ethan. So I don't know you guys. I don't know. Obviously this is a situation we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on. Obviously I was wrong in thinking that Ariana and Dalton would have a mess free separation and breakup. So of course when anything else happens I will be sitting right here to fill you in on it. But in the meantime I want to hear all of your guys' thoughts about these updates when it comes to Ariana Grande, Dalton Gomez, and Ethan Slater. Let out all your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and of course don't forget to keep coming back here to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. Also you guys don't forget to tune in tomorrow live for our happy hour hang right here on my channel at 3 30 pacific standard time. You guys can also check out all of my merch my new merch items. Definitely go check out all of the new merch at houseofhill.com and on that note I'll see you guys tomorrow for our live happy hour hang. Bye! <laughs>